Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over a quick video. It's going to be the Swashplate Outer Clamping Ring Inspection for the EC-135, Airbus EC-135 helicopter. And we're going to go over why we got to do this, how often we have to do this. It's not difficult. This is not a difficult inspection, but when it drops in your lap on your do list and you're like, what the heck? Well, how do I do this? with no references we'll show you all the references it's not difficult and uh with that being said let's roll right all right so if we go to uh air <laughs> i i've never gone here before so I, i'm sorry als chapter of airbus ec-135 manual not the amm not the aircraft maintenance manual but the airworthiness limit inspection ALS 4-20-00, and if you scroll down to where it says swash plate 62-32, there's two two sections here. They're both reference the same reference. It depends on the part number of your, I think it's the, the part number of your clamping ring anyway, or, or your swash plate. I don't know. It doesn't matter. They're, but either way, they're the same time, so... But if you look at the reference, the reference they want you to go to is AMM 6232006-1. That is the inspection of the swash plate. And we'll go there. So we go there and we scroll all the way down and it tells you actually way down there how to do the inspection of the outer clamping ring. That's cool. But a better a better section is AMM 6232006-4, which is the inspection of the swash plate, outer clamping ring, and screws. That's specifically only to this. So, and they say the same stuff. So I would do that. Either way, when you sign off the reference, reference both. Um, but this one right here is specific only to what we're talking about. All right, so... Not complicated. Let's just scroll down on this. Uh, we're on 6232 006-4. Inspection of the outer clamping ring and screws. Not hard. All right. So remove the outer screws of the outer clamping ring. The, um, there's 12 of them. They have their safety wire together in pairs. Remove those. Remove the, what is it called, these things? And the rings, which is the top cover from the bearing ring and the outer clamping ring. Not not really difficult. But what you should do first is mark the outer clamping ring, the, I mean, I'm sorry, the, the covers. Mark a line between the cover, the, the clamping ring, and then the outer swash plate ring, the outer swash plate ring, so that uh, it goes back together. Either way, you can do it without it. This picture, I think, is installed incorrectly. No worries. It just, in the end, we'll, we'll go over how they want you to put it together in the end. Not a big deal. Okay, so once you have it removed, there's probably going to be grease in there. That's just the way it is. You grease it once every 400 hours or 12 months, the swash plate. And yeah, the swash plate seal works pretty good. And... But, man, that's a long time. You're going to get a little bit of grease at the top. I don't know if that's right, according to Airbus. Maybe they want you to uh, replace your swash plate seal. But I've done two of these in the last uh, two weeks. But before that, it's been, man, years since I've done this inspection. Either way, clean up the grease, clean up the cover, and take a look. Okay, the manual here says use a magnifying glass 6x to 10x and a flashlight and examine the outer clamping ring for signs of cracks. If you find cracks, do a dive penetrant inspection and see if there are cracks. Also, look for mechanical damage, corrosion, and damage to surface protection. If there's damage to the surface protection, repair it. If there's corrosion and mechanical damage within the limits of the table here, then repair it. And then it wants you to look at the screws or the bolts that hold it down. Check it for cracks, mechanical damage, corrosion, damage threads. Uh, man, that thing's titanium, so I doubt you'll find any any damage there. Either way, take a look. One thing, though, that they don't really talk about is the inner clamping ring. 
see how it's safety wire like this? It's crazy, right? But but they want the safety wire to stay down because that part is stationary and the cover for the outer clamping ring spins around that and it's pretty freaking close to that. So if if that safety wire is bent up at all, it will scrape the outer clamping ring cover and you're going to have a problem. And I've seen that in the past or I've heard about that in the past rather. All right, cool. If everything's good, install the ring, install the rings, which are the cover. With the screws on the outer clamping ring and the bearing ring, go to this other chapter. Let's go there. That gives you the torque and and stuff. Which is assembly of the swash plate 6232004-3. Okay, right here it says note the disconnection point of the cover ring three and four shall be offset by 30 degrees to the lubricating nipple of the installation after installation. Okay, so the top cover, make sure it's 30, 30 degrees off, which I think is, an, is, is like one bolt hole away from the grease nipple. All right, no worries. Align the outer clamping ring together with the two-part cover ring towards the screw holes in the previously identified position but if it was wrong before, make sure it's 30 degrees off now. Apply a thin layer of lubricant TP42 onto the screws and threads and the fane surface and apply outer clamping ring together with the two-part cover using screws. Torque tighten to 5 newton meters or 44 and a quarter inch pounds. Cool. And then it says secure two screws to each other with lock wire 775, which is 25,000 safety wire, 25,000 of an inch safety wire. While doing so, ensure that the twirled end cannot connect the cover ring and wait, wait. and caused by centrifugal forces when the helicopter is operated. Anyway, make sure that when you safety wire those 12 bolts, that the safety wire end is not in contact with anything crazy because that thing is spinning around like crazy anyway not difficult outer clamping ring inspection not difficult like we just talked about the reason we do it 1100 hour inspection it's in the ALS section uh, it's not a hard inspection to do but if that drops in your lap now you know where to go and you know why and I hope this helps Appreciate you guys tuning into the channel. If you know of anybody who thinks this might be interesting or could get value out of this video as well, just send them the link. You don't forget to like and subscribe. Appreciate it again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. All right, before we begin, a quick disclaimer. I'm not affiliated with any aircraft manufacturers. I make these videos for entertainment, not education. Always refer to the manufacturer's maintenance instructions and not this video or any other videos on this channel. If there is something said in this video that is contrary to the maintenance manual, defer to the maintenance manual. Maintenance manuals are being revised all the time. Check current revisions prior to completing any maintenance on your aircraft. That being said, thank you for watching and let's roll.